I love Skyrim, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I dressed in ceremonial Skyrim cosplay. I went with a Dark Brotherhood outfit. Next, I put on a VR haptic vest so I could really feel myself being burned by a dragon. Then I set up a smart plug and some fans that depending on where I am in the game, they'll blow wind on my face and simulate temperature. I installed a mod that lets me talk to people in game using my real voice. Lydia, carry my goddamn burdens. And I can activate shouts by actually shouting. Boost Rosa! Finally, I got myself a stool and sat down in real life while sitting in a Skyrim tavern. What a time to be alive. I love Fallout, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I dressed in ceremonial Fallout cosplay. I went with a Vault 111 suit. Next, I put on a VR haptic vest so I could really feel myself being shot by super mutants. Then I got a backpack and loaded it up with 50 pounds worth of junk so I can simulate the feeling of my character picking up every item that I see. I also put trackers on my feet, forcing me to run and jump in real life to move myself in game. That way I can run away from Preston settlements. Nobody likes your goddamn settlements, Preston. Whenever I take radiation damage in the game, I stick my hands in the microwave and turn it on for 30 seconds. Finally, I sat down in real life while sitting in the broken remains of Boston. What a time to be alive. I love Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I dressed in Zelda cosplay. I feel like it matches the game completely. Next, I put on a VR haptic suit so I could really feel the breaths on my body. Then I jumped off a cliff in real life at the same time I did it in the game. I'm not doing that. I'll die. I also put trackers on my feet so that Zelda would be tracked perfectly to match my real life body, and then I moved in ways that will probably make Nintendo sue me. When I ride a horse in the game, I ride a horse in real life. Whenever I looked for Korax seeds, I threw my car keys in some random place in my house and went on an annoying scavenger hunt to look for them. Finally, I sat down in real life at the same time I was sitting in VR and enjoyed the most immersive version of Legend of Link, Breath of the Wild. What a time to be alive. I love Super Mario, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I put on a Mario cosplay. I think I look quite dapper. Then I got a VR haptic suit so I could really feel myself being beat up by plants. Next, I put some VR full body trackers on so I could see my Mario body in VR and move in ways which will probably make Nintendo sue me. Finally, I punched a thump in the face using my own body. It's a me, Mario. I love Minecraft, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I put on a Minecraft cosplay. I went with an Alex outfit. Next, I put on a VR haptic suit so I could really feel my soul being sucked out by Enderman. I also put trackers on my feet, forcing me to jump up every block by jumping in real life. My legs f***ing hurts. Then I got a pickaxe in real life, and whenever I break a block in the game, I force myself to go outside and start pickaxing the ground. Finally, I got a stool and sat down in real life while looking at my beautiful Minecraft VR house that took me 1,000 hours to build. What a time to be alive. I love Star Wars, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I put on a Darth Vader cosplay. Oh Luke, I am your daddy. Next, I put on a VR haptic suit so I could really feel myself losing my limbs to laser swords. I also used tech to track my whole body in VR so I could move in ways that'll piss off Disney. Finally, I reenacted some classic Star Wars scenes, like when Kylo Ren punted Yoda in Revenge of the New Hope. What a time to be alive. I love the rain. I've always wanted to feel rain in my skin, but as a gamer, doing that would require me touching something which I have a crippling fear of. I needed to come up with a way to feel rain in my body without leaving the house. I decided to get a VR haptic feedback suit, but I'm broke and that costs money. Luckily, my friend had a spare kidney and said I could have it. After I got the suit, I had to decide where I wanted to feel rain. The two best options were either Skyrim or Fallout since they both work well with the suit and have lots of weather. I went with Fallout VR so I could experience life in America in 2025. This was my reaction to the rain. Wow, I feel the rain.
I don't think I'll ever need to touch grass again. I love bones, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. I didn't have a bony outfit, so I made a sign that said skeleton and taped it to my chest. Then I put on a haptic feedback suit so I could really feel the bones on my body. There's only two VR games about bones, Boneworks and Bone Labs. Boneworks has no bones, which is false advertising. Where the hell are these bones? So I loaded up Bone Labs and went into the fantasy level. Look at all these bones. There's so many bones. I'm so dead. I love Half-Life, so I tried to make it the most immersive experience possible. First, I dressed in ceremonial Half-Life cosplay. I went with an Alex outfit. Next, I put on a VR haptic vest so I could really feel myself being shot by the Combine. Whenever I get caught by barnacles in the game, I tie a rope around my neck and pretend that I'm being choked. I also put trackers on my feet, forcing me to run and jump in real life to move myself in game. That way I can run away from all the annoying upgrade puzzles. I can't stand these goddamn puzzles. When a head crab attacks me, I slap myself in the face with a head crab in real life. That way I can really feel the pain of a crab on my face. What a time to be alive.